Howdy folks. I actually saw the Oprah show about YouTube, the one where she had all the YouTube people on it. Not because I watch Oprah. I want to make that really clear. I'm not an Oprah person. But I knew it was happening because of all that crap they put all over the front page about Oprah, Oprah, Oprah the day before, two days before. And I was at my parents' house because they have television. I mean, not because they have television. I was at my parents' house where they have television because I was still recovering from the whole dizzy thing. And in my time zone, Oprah comes on after Jeopardy, which I watch all the time whenever I'm around a TV. So, I was watching the Oprah show, and it was really long. Really long. I mean, the show is an hour. An hour long. It goes, it runs from four to five where I live. And... I swear they had about 12 minutes of content in that entire show and they managed to stretch it out over an entire hour with all of these previews and reviews and trailers of what was going to come up in the next five minutes of the show. Who did they have on there? They had Chad and Steve, uh, Esme, that girl from the Netherlands who sings really well, uh, the skateboarding dog, um, some guy who sings opera. I didn't know who he was. And these two people who danced... What is that movie? Oh, they danced a the dance from... Uh, Dirty Dancing. From Dirty Dancing. Uh, at their wedding, and somehow they're famous now. Uh, and, like, Patrick Swayze was on there to surprise them. And, oh my god, they spent, seriously, at least ten minutes of, of time on the show previewing his coming on stage to surprise them. Like, they had all these shots of them out there and him, you know, waiting backstage and coming out and surprising this chick, and she started crying and... Well, she didn't start crying. I think she laughed. But anyway, like, by the time they actually got to that part, you'd already seen everything that happened. It was... It's so pointless. I hate TV. This is why I hate TV. Oh, they had... They had P. Diddy, or whatever his name is now, and his, like, next manager finals. I, I went out to walk my dog at that point. Basically, the show was really, really long and really, really, like, overproduced. Um, and at least I had my computer with me so I could do other stuff while trying to get through this show. As for Oprah on YouTube and whether this is a good thing and all of that, I don't actually know the whole story. Um, the only video I've seen about this is uh, the one Paper Lilies made a few days ago. So, actually what I'm talking about is fairly old news in YouTube time, but I've been having video editing issues. Anyway, apparently there's something like she came and she left or she got mad or I don't know. But basically, I agree with Paper Lilies. I think all of these like celebrities and all the TV crap that's on YouTube now has ruined a lot of YouTube that used to be really great. Um, like the lists. The most discussed list, the most viewed list, most discussed at least, used to be really great. Like maybe a year ago, or six months ago. Um, I used to go there all the time and find new videos to watch, and there would always be something interesting there, and I could kind of keep up with what was going on on YouTube, on the lists. But nowadays, it's just all crap. It's so crap. I don't know, I guess that's that's just the way it goes sometimes, and we kind of have to deal with, um, with the consequences of our own popularity, with YouTube's popularity. Uh, maybe not our, like, like my individual popularity or yours, unless you are very popular. Okay, I really don't have much more to say about this. Um, just wanted to share my reviews of actually watching Oprah, um, which is basically that it was longer than it needed to be. Um, much like this video, which is, um, you know, ironic. Is that ironic? Anyway, bye kids.